being a dad um, means a lot to me. Unfortunately, I didn't have my earthly father. So trying to figure that out has been um, a journey. Learning how to extend your unconditional love, not to just God and his son um, and to your family members, but somebody new who you had um, help from God create. Being a dad is a awesome responsibility. Um, after being a husband, it's probably the most important job we have in our lives as men, uh, to lead our children and guide them and uh, help them to have a relationship with Christ. The most painful thing about being a dad, uh, at first it was the sleep, but I mean, it's definitely worth it. When your children hurt um, because you as a dad want to fix it, because depending on if it's physical, emotional, you're just trying to figure out to stop the hurt. The most joy about being a father is uh, watching your children grow. The fact that they still maintain their faith over the years is just the biggest blessing in our lives. The transition into fatherhood, I, I don't think was, I mean, I, other than the not sleeping and getting up, I just kind of fell into fatherhood. Um, I was very helpful with my wife and we took it as a team effort and it was a great joy. Being a grandfather is a, probably after being having children is probably the greatest blessing. I just have a burning desire to teach my grandchildren the true word of God. That relationship that I have with God has definitely transformed the way I parent. I do something wrong and I know that I have to confess that to God. Confessing that in front of my kids, of course, doesn't feel good, but at the same time, can't say to them, come to me, come to me, come to me, yet I don't show the vulnerability for them to come to me. The most difficult transition as a father has been us adopting our current girls as much as they are our girls, they are our daughters, there's been a lot of questions that we are unable to answer, I'm unable to answer. And wrestling with that has been very, very difficult. The relationship with God helps me a lot because I know no matter how much I can do as a father, He has my back. And so I trust in Him and Him alone for me to stand up when my children can't, and knowing that he's there in case I can't stand up for them. From studying the Bible over the years, you see so much symbolism like your children bring you great joy, but there's also disappointment. And when they disappoint you, sometimes you have to look and think, how have I disappointed God over my life? The most exciting transition that I've experienced as a father with my kids is um, our oldest son as well as um, our youngest son accepting the Lord Jesus as their personal savior. Tears of joy that has been in my heart and in my life.